Have a pleasant morning, my dear students. Welcome to our second video of Chapter Three, Our Changing Earth. Let us begin the video. Exogenic forces. Dear students, in the first video of this chapter, we were talking about the endogenic forces and the changes made by them. Here, in this video, we will talk about the changes brought. About on the surface of the Earth due to exogenic forces. Exogenic forces and major land forms. There are many changes that we see on the surface of the Earth. These are caused by weathering and erosion. But what is weathering and erosion? Let's see. Weathering is the breaking up of rocks on the Earth's surface. Erosion. Erosion is the wearing away of landscape by different agents like water, wind and ice. The eroded materials are carried away through the natural agents like water and wind to the other places. And when the speed of these agents reduces, they deposit their load, farming different kinds of landforms. Let's see one by one which kinds of landforms are formed. Work of river. Let's see the landforms that are formed due to the work of rivers. Waterfall. When the river tumbles at the steep angle over very hard rocks or down a steep valley side, it forms a waterfall. Minder. As the river enters the plain, it twists and turns, forming large bends known as minders. With time, the minder cuts off from the river and forms a cut off lake that is called Oxbow Lake. During monsoon and floods, rivers overflow their bank and deposit a layer of fine soil which leads to the formation of flood plains. The raised banks of river are called levees. Rivers ke unche kinare levees kehlate hai. Delta. A delta is a landform that is created at the mouth of a river where it flows into an ocean, sea, estuary, lake, etc. Here, the river is distributed into many streams which are called distributaries. Work of sea waves. There are some landforms formed due to continuous cutting down of rocks by sea waves. Let's see which landforms are formed here. Sea caves. Sea caves are recess in rock carved by waves and water and create, which attach to the rocks, thus weakening them. Sea arches, as these cavities or recess become bigger and bigger, only the root of the caves remain, thus forming sea arches. Stocks, further erosion breaks the roof of sea caves, forming the stocks. Sea cliffs. The steep, rocky coast rising and almost vertically above sea is called sea cliff. Beaches. The sea waves deposit sediments along the source forming beaches. Work of ice. Such kind of activities is witnessed in mountainous area. Let's see which kind of activities are there. Glaciers. Glaciers are the rivers of ice. Glacial moraines. These are deposits of material carried by glaciers such as rocks, sand and silt. Work of wind. Have you ever visited a desert? There you might have seen many kinds of structures formed in deserts. In desert area, winds act as an agent of erosion. Let's see 
which kind of landforms is formed here mushroom rocks the rocks in the shape of a mushroom in deserts are called mushroom rocks sand dunes when the wind blows it lifts and transports sand from one place to another when it stops blowing the sand falls and gets deposited in low hills like structures these are called sand dunes let's revise weathering is the breaking up of rocks on the earth's surface erosion is the wearing away of the landscape by different agents like water wind and ice when the river tumbles at steep angle over very hard rocks or down a steep valley side it forms a waterfall as the river enters the plain it twists and turns forming large bends known as meanders landforms like sea waves sea arches stocks and sea cliff are formed by the waves of the sea glacier are the rivers of ice glacial moraines are deposits of materials carried by glaciers such as rocks sand and silt the rocks in the shape of mushroom in desert are called mushroom rocks sand deposits in the form of hills in deserts are called sand dunes let me ask you some questions students question 1 in deserts we see rocks in the shape of a dash option a cactus option b mushroom option c rose and option d lotus your correct answer is option b mushroom question 2 dash is an odd one in the following option a waterfall option b levees option c delta and option d moraines your correct answer is option d moraines question 3 the collection of sediments at the mouth of a river forms a dash option a delta option b tributary option c distributaries and option d meander your correct answer is option a delta question 4 dashes are rivers of ice option a moraines option b glacier option c igloo option d option b loess your correct answer is option b glacier your practice works are given in the slide just note it down and do your work correctly thank you see you soon in our next module